Here's the Arduino IDE serial monitor. I'm uh, going to touch these two wires together. This is my uh, TNC 3.6 and when I do that it's going to scan this chip through I squared C and give the address. Here we go. I'll show you how I did it. Start off at the PJRC website. Here's the uh, full URL. I'll put it in the description below too. And um, this gives you a good guide in getting started. It's amazing. This these Teensy chips made by Paul Stoffergen. It's they're just amazing pieces of technology. Um, so he's put a lot of effort into it. And then on top of that, you know, people like Brian here, Knox Seven Seventy One have put a lot of effort into writing library so he, he wrote this library for I squared C on the TNC um, 3.0 and 3.6 I'm using a 3.6 um, and just a word of warning uh, this won't work on the 4.1 or 4.0 it's just up to uh, I think 3.6 um, but this is a great little tutorial here uh, pretty much just follow along I'll show you my setup. It's very similar to this. Pretty much just copied this, but for the 3.6, um, I went to SparkFun, bought it, bought a nice uh, I squared C chip here. Uh, the shipping was more than the actual chip. Here's the data sheet. It's a eight lead dip dual inline package, and then open up the Arduino IDE. What's great about this is you know after you set up the Teensy Duino and all that stuff using the um, Arduino IDE you can use um, examples I2, I squared C library has all kinds of great things like the basic scanner which I'm using right here basic scanner so set it up yeah this is my setup 3.6 here are all the um, settings I'm using and then uh, you know you take the example code and uh, upload you know upload and verif verify and upload the example code over USB cable I'll show you that in a minute and uh, then open up the serial monitor here's the serial monitor and then you trigger the event and it scans this could be a button press I'm using just two wires and it scans I'll show you some more details on the camera here's the quick rundown I have my USB cable connected to the Teensy 3.6 SCL0 is here. It's going to a 4.7K pull up resistor here. Same with SDA0. And then on the other part of the node, it's going, these are going down to their respective SCL and SDAs here. This chip is powered on here. Here's the um, Di the schematic here for the chip, so VCC, so 3.3 volts connected by this rail up to here, 3.3 volts then uh, what do we got here write protect, write protect is going to ground we got our SCL, SDA now these are these two up here are addresses that we can reconfigure. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, we'll, we'll get a different scan address. Um, and then these two wires, I just put, put those together and they act like a button. I didn't have quite enough room on the uh, board here to uh, fit a button. I'm going to do a couple things here just to show um, how this works a little bit more in depth this here I'm going to take this wire out you're getting a scan address of 0x51 if instead I take this and actually I'll just leave them all out it'll 
go down um, by default drop down to um, you'll see I'll show you what to do by default it'll drop down and there we go 0x50 so you can change the address here what else okay let's see what happens if I disconnect the SCL or SDA I'll just disconnect this one right here right okay we take these two we touch them together what happens boom and it's scanned and no devices found I copied this code and uploaded it to my Teensy 3.6 here it is in the serial monitor running every five seconds the program reads from the EEPROM, adds one, and then writes. That's it. The idea was to make a quick tutorial as simple as possible to get somebody started with I2C. I think it's it's possible to even make this simpler. Maybe there's a way to do it without a chip like this and to do a scan from the SCL0 and SDA0 down to SDA1 and SCL1 or maybe that and um, you know SCL2 and SDA2 it might be possible to make these two slaves and daisy chain them from this as the master that's right now that's how this is set up this is the master and this is the slave but um, if anyone's tried that, I'd, I'd be real curious to see your code and to see how you did that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and can use this for your own Teensy and I2C projects.